Hello, it's Mr. Omari here. I want to talk to you quickly about how to work out the distance around a circle. So, when you're doing this for the whole circle, it is actually called the circumference. Um, circ means around, so when we say circuit, we mean around that time, cir circumnavigate, to go around the planet, to circumvent, to go around something. So, circ around. So, that equals pi 2r. Another way of explaining that is that circumference equals pi times d. Now I'm just going to explain for those of you who haven't seen the other video that that largest, that space from the widest point of the circle is d or 2 times r. Either way. So let's say for example I'm working out the the um, circumference, the area around this circle here, and I know that radius is 5. So from the middle to the outside is 5, is 5 metres, let's say. So circumference equals pi times 2 times 5. So circumference equals pi times 10. So circumference equals, and I'll get the exact figure for this, 31.42. So, that's all I need to do. I use that formula and I plug it in my value for radius and it tells me everything else. It's very, very simple. The next thing I'm going to show you is how to work out part of a circle. And this is a bit hard. So there's my formulas there. Now, here's half of a circle. So across the bottom, of course, I have D, which also equals 2, um, 2 R. So let's say that this one has a diameter, that line from side to side is 12 centimetres. So that's 12. So using this formula here, actually, I'll tell you what, I'm going to use, no, I'm going to use this bottom one here. So never mind that top one, I'm actually going to rub it out. Because the bottom one is more useful to me. I only want half of that outside shape. So I'm going to take that original formula and I'm going to divide it by 2. But what I actually need to add into it is this value here for the flat line. Now, I'm going to call that 2R, but I could just as easily call it D. So I said that it was 12 centimetres, so let's work it out. So circumference equals pi times, I called it, um, R was 6, so 2R is 12, divided by 2, plus 2 times R is 12. So, I look on my sheet, and I see that, I'll just have my little check sheet here, so 12 is pi times 12 equals 37.7, divided by 2 plus 12. I know that 37, half of that is 18, just let me have a look on my sheet, 18.85 plus 12. Okay, so what I'm going to do over here is a little bit of working, is I'm going to put 12, 18.85, the 85 comes straight down, that gives me 30. So, my total answer of that circumference is 30.85. And I built it using half of the equation for the circumference of a, the perimeter of an entire circle, plus that shape there. So, I'm going to do this again with something um, that's a little bit more complicated. So, but I'm going to keep my equations, basically. So, I come back here. This time I'm going to do a quarter of a circle. So, to work out the curve, I use my equation for a whole circle, and I only need a quarter of it, so I'm dividing it by four. And I've got two of these radius bits here. These are both r, so it's plus 2r. So, let's say that again, I've got a 12 centimetre circle. So, I know that c equals pi times 12, divided by 4, uh, plus 2R. So, let's have a look. 
So I happen to know, because again I'm looking at my chair chart here, 12 divided by 4, that that actually is 9.42, that's all of this stuff here, plus 12. So again I'm going to go over the side and I'm going to add 9.42 to 12. And that gives me 21.42. So my circumference is 21.42. So I did that using the curve, but I kept, only kept a quarter of it, plus the two R bits. Last one. Now you could do this for any part of a circle. You could do it for 1 16th of a circle. You could do it for 5 16th of a circle. So I'm going to show you how you do something like that. So. Again, I start with my basic equation here. Now, what I'm doing is the Pac-Man shape, what I call that. So, there is the circle, and I, so I've got three quarters of it. So, what I'm going to do is times that by 0.75, and I'll just check that that's still on camera, it is. And I'm going to add two of the radius. So, let's do this again for 12. So, using my cheat sheet, I look up for 12, I see that 75% of it, which is what 0.75 is, is 28.27. But you know what, you could use a calculator for this, I've just done this so I don't keep having to fire up a calculator. And then I add 12 for the two R lengths. And then, and I'm going to go over here and do the, the working out, 28.27, see how I'm lining up my numbers? 7, 2, 0, 40. So my answer is 40.27. So I could do that for a third of a circle. I could do that for 7 eighths of a circle. You just make sure you're timesing it by the right fraction. And if you've got a, a really tricky thing and you don't want to put it in times, you know, if you've got 19 twenty-fourths of a, <coughs> 19 twenty-fourths of a circle, Divide by 24 times by 19. You can do that with any, with any fraction. So that's how you do those. <coughs> I know they're a bit tricky, but I hope this helps.